Hello, it's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts, and I'm here to do a fun Halloween craft with you today. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button below so you can see when I go live and when I put out new videos just for you. All right, today we're going to make a simple Halloween craft that you can use to spruce up your Halloween treats you give out. So I will show you the supplies you need and hopefully you can make these too this fall season. All right, so what you're gonna need is some lollipops. So you can get these or the Tootsie Pops. I just got a bag of these lollipops at Dollar Tree and this is the size you need. You need the kind of larger lollipops, okay? You're also gonna need a pair of scissors and you're gonna need a white coffee filter you're gonna need a black marker and you're gonna need some sort of string. So you could use, I have this brown raffia or you can use curly ribbon that you put on packages or balloons or regular ribbon that comes in a roll. This part can be any way you want. You could even do twist ties or rubber bands. This is any way, anything you have to tie, you can use. All right. So, we're making ghost lollipops. <gasps> They're gonna look so cute. And you can hand them out to your neighbors and friends for trick or treat. So, what you do is you take your lollipop, take your coffee filter, you put it in the middle of the coffee filter, and then take both your hands and you gather it around, okay? So, you gather it around, and I'm just gonna do a little twist See like that, twist, twist. And the stick sticks out a little. And if you wanna trim it, you can. But this makes the um, ghost look a little fluffy. This makes the ghost look a little fluffy. So this is where you're gonna need something to tie it. I'm gonna take my brown raffia and I'm gonna lay it on my table because you need a little bit of help from the table to tie your um, string. Now, if you have a rubber band, that would be cool to use a clear or white rubber band. And then, or a twist tie would be fun, or a curly ribbon. You would use whatever you have at home. It'll look fabulous. All right, so I'm just tying a little bow on my um, ghost to keep the white coffee filter on. And then I am going to trim it with my string with my scissors. So I'm just gonna trim because this side is a little longer then the other side and it's gonna look very cute. All right, here's how he looks. Here's how he looks so far. Now we gotta put a face on him. That's what your marker's for. You could use any color you want. I just happen to have black and I'm just gonna do a simple little dot eyes and I'm going to do a Circle mouth, like he's saying boo. Ooh, he looks scary. All right. Here is how he looks. And here's my one I made earlier. So now I have two of them to give out already for trick or treat. See, don't they look fabulous? All right, I'm gonna tell you a few other ideas you can use to make your ghosts look extra fancy. You could use googly eyes. You could use googly eyes on your ghost, but then you would need glue or hot glue. And um, you could add glitter if you choose to, to make them extra fancy, but they're cute as can be just the way they are. Now, I hope you enjoyed this craft for me today and come back next time to Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. <gasps>